okay so this is um, this is going to be my sort of first look at Battlefield 5's open beta um, on Xbox One I have the uh, EA access on Xbox One on my Xbox Live account and that means that I've been able to get access to the open beta early um, so I pre preloaded this and uh, just uh, just this is literally my first look at it I've only just come onto the menus now um, so from the start as we can see we've got seven days left uh, for Tides of War here obviously you've got the Grand Operation, Narvik obviously you can pre-order Battlefield 5 you've got the news post one good thing I've noticed straight away um, the minute that I've come into this is that the first thing you can see is that they are putting up in that top left um, corner um, effectively what they're doing with the open beta and things that they're fixing in the open beta at the, you know, at the very start um, so first thing I'm just going to look at is my company um, and see what we can do with this. So we've got the... Uh, so it looks like you can have two companies set up, one Axis, one Allied, which is good. Got my Assault guy. So that is this. I can't see anything that is down in that bottom left corner at the minute. Oh, just because I've got the overlay down there. So we've got the deer. That's my assault. So we've got the STG 44. The uh, first assault rifle effectively ever produced. Uh, the Gea 43. German semi automatic rifle. Um, was effectively designed to replace the car 98. But was not uh, able to be produced in sufficient numbers by the um, end of the war to actually see much effective use of those units that did get issued them uh, found them to be far superior to the car 90 in terms of its um, operability however it wasn't as accurate as the car 98k with its uh, bolt m1a1 carbine um, American weapon, it's a 9mm, I believe. Um, Semi automatic uh, rifle, uh, lightweight rifle. This version that we've actually got here is the paratroop version with the folding stock. Um, the US infantry had one that had a rifle stock on it, and therefore it would also have the rifle trigger where you'd have your hand over the top of the stock as well. This one has a pistol grip. Uh, magazine generally will carry uh, 15 rounds, one in the chamber, you could get 16 in there. Uh, was mainly used by um, US paratroopers, the 82nd and 101st Airborne used them quite extensively. Um, so it's a good little all-round weapon. And then the Turner SMLE, otherwise known as the Enfield 303. Um, this is a variant of the Enfield 303 rifle, bolt action. Um, well, the Enfield 303 is bolt action, the Turner SMLE is semi automatic. It was a semi automatic modification to the Enfield 303 bolt action rifle, which was the standard rifle of the British Army Second World War. Highly accurate weapon. Um, extremely powerful rounds uh, firing a 303 or .303 round. Um, obviously, it looks like we start off with the uh, with the STG44 on the assault class. See what the customization is. So you've got um, sights. You've got default iron sights. You've got captured iron sights. So that just looks like it puts a bit of rust and everything on there. Makes it look like it's been uh, been through uh, some f um, you know, trouble effectively. I think what it what it is trying to do is make the weapon look as if it's been dropped on the battlefield or something and obviously it's, it's got wet and rusted a little bit and then been picked up. Uh, aperture sight uh, with some spray on it. Um, the urban tactical iron sight. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is with that. It looks like it's just been had a little bit of blue paint sprayed on it. Um, woodland pattern medium scope. Just a little bit of spray on there. Factory new iron sights, so as you can see on that, uh, brand new black, no chips or anything on that paint, looks perfect. Eye tops, uh, medium scopes, that's um, black essentially and weathered. Uh, woodland, 
on that aperture. Uh, you've got this one which is a, a longer range type sight, effectively you can readjust that rear sight that you can see closest to the uh, right side of the screen. Adjust that up and down effectively, it just allows you to get precise um, long range shots. The reflex sight with medium scope. Um, generally speaking, I think when I'm playing this game, I'm going to be trying to keep it as realistic as possible. And uh, generally, they were issued with just the D, you know, the, the eye sights on them. For the muzzle, uh, captured. So you've got that's just the default muzzle Nothing on there. Captured. Now this looks like it's some form of flash hider. Um, obviously, not listed. It's very green again. That looks like it's some sort of uh, compensator or flash hider. got urban again looks like some form of compensation or something a bit of blue, uh, blue spray on there same again it just looks like different versions of sort of uh, muzzle attachments obviously for, for various different purposes barrel again it looks like the same pretty much in terms of options obviously this one here you can see before you've got, got the wrap on there uh, wrap in green You've got a fact, uh, factory new uh, night ops, so they've covered it. And then custom woodland, that's really good. That magazine, effectively, all the magazines are just going to be the same, just different sprays on them. Receiver, I think all the receivers are effectively going to be the same as well. Uh, rear grip. Can't see there being much difference in any of the rear grips. Generally, the these rifles didn't have much in terms of interchangeable parts. Um, yeah, as you can see, I mean, on that that's uh, so that night up stock. That looks like it's an actual MP40 type collapsible stock that has been retrofitted onto the STG44. Um, effectively, that that will collapse down. Um, it would on the MP40 actually go underneath the rifle. Um, on this, I'm not entirely sure how it would work. And then here you've got a um, stock with some ammunition bags attached to it. So that's the STG44, the upgrades and and everything on it. Uh, upgrades, quick aim, so you can look down the sights faster. Fast bullets. Um, I'm guessing that means that literally your bullets are going to literally fly faster. Accurate hip fire, improved stationary accuracy. So what you've got here is you've got two options. Um, one you can go for sort of your more run and gun, which is on this left side by the look of it. Accurate hip fire, quick deploy, so you can switch your weapons really quickly. Uh, faster movement while aiming, so that means that you can sort of sight, um, look down the sights and keep moving quickly. On this side, you've got improved stationary accuracy, you've got less uh, recoil and improved movement accuracy as well. And then eventually, both trees look like they come to give you less vertical recoil, so you can upgrade the weapon and really make it perform a lot better. Uh, for sidearm, it's got the P38, which is a standard issue German sidearm. And then Ruby. So I believe, I'm not entirely sure what this weapon is, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. It looks like a another Wolfer design. I have seen these before. Um, I think it's effectively like a lightweight Wolfer design alongside the P38. Um, based sort of around the Colt 1911 and the Tatarev design. And that's the sidearms that we've got in this. Uh, obviously, I can't change my appearance or anything, or, or really change my clothes. I don't believe melee. So standard issue combat knife, hatchet, club, shovel, uh, pickaxe, a kukri, and uh, British Army jackknife. So that's the uh, assault class, medic class. Um, I mean straight away this guy's already got one of my favourite weapons on him. That is the Stengun. Uh British Army uh issued submachine gun. So we'll go on to that and have a quick look at that. 
see what the customization's like on it. So with this thing, and you should be able to get um, should be able to get a suppressor on there and, and sort of that sort of thing, and really play around with it and get some uh, some pretty amazing stuff on there. So, like I said, I'm probably going to be running this game even when it comes out fully uh, with just iron sights on my weapons, muzzle. Um, various weird and wonderful little attachments. Generally, you didn't see many of these actually in the war. It's a little bit annoying that there's not a suppressor, but uh, so that is a a rifle type Ford sight that's gone onto there on some of those variants, which did happen. They did have those on some of the Sten guns. Obviously, Sten gun is quite famous for having that side stick magazine, which is also um, in the development of Sten gun, which was the Sterling submachine gun which famously is the basis for the DC-15 blaster that Stormtroopers had in Star Wars. Receiver. Again, it's going to be pretty basic. It's a stamp-pressed steel tube, effectively. It was built to be really rugged. Um, take a lot of punishment. And very cheap to manufacture. So you got your two different versions of the stock as well, which I'm liking that. Um, so this is your, your sort of your basic stock. Um, you can take the stock off these by pressing that little circular button you can see in the back of the receiver there, you'd press that in effectively and you'd be able to sort of detach the stock completely from the weapon if you ever needed to. Um, so you've got that stock but then you've also got this type stock which is um, generally what you'd see um, if you're more basic infantry issued. Um, I haven't actually seen this stock before in any pictures I've seen World War Two, definitely not seen that one. Um, it may, it may, you know, it may have been real, just may not have been issued. Um, it could be one of the post-war modifications for the Sten gun, but generally I'll probably be uh, using my Sten gun with it, that stock on or that one, but more likely this one. Have a quick look at the Sten gun. See so what other weapons we've got. So. I've not actually seen this weapon, um, so I can't tell you a lot about it. Um, obviously I'll try and learn a little bit more about these weapons as the real game comes out. Nor have I actually seen this one either. Um, it looks like it may be a development of um, the MP18 or something like that, maybe from that we saw in Battlefield 1, I'm not entirely sure. Now the MP40, that is a weapon I do know. Um, obviously German... Uh, Submachine gun of choice, uh, 9mm. Uh, fun fact is that British troops could actually take the ammunition, the 9mm ammunition that the MP40 used, put it into a Sten gun magazine, and it would fire through a Sten gun. It was built to be able to do that effectively. Um, MP40 is an extremely good and well liked submachine gun platform. A lot of American paratroopers and British paratroopers and so on steal them. So I may be using that a little bit. Sidearm, annoyingly enough, we ain't got the P38 uh, still. Um, generally, with a sort of a more British loadout, you'd be looking at having um, a Webley 38 revolver, something like that. We've got these uh, secondaries here. So, support class KE7. Don't know actually what weapon this is, I've not seen it before again. Probably a Russian weapon looking at the design of it. Just waiting for the preview to come up. Looks like it's most likely a Russian, maybe Italian weapon. Um, don't know much about it, so I can't tell you much on that one. Uh, the Bren gun, British Army standard issue light machine gun. Um, I mean, top fed magazine. Extremely stable, um, hard hitting platform saw extensive use through Second World War and out of the other end of the Second World War into Borneo, Malaya, multiple campaigns, Oman, um, was extremely well liked, it was only actually replaced by the GPMG um, within the last sort of 20 to 30 years. Um, extremely good uh, weapon, heavy, but if you know how to use it, it's uh, extremely effective. Now the FG-42, now this technically is not an LMG, 
Technically it's actually an assault rifle, it was built by the Germans mainly for the Fallschirmjäger, which is their airborne units. It was built to be an extremely stable, accurate, um, automatic platform. Effectively it was a form of an assault uh, rifle. It wasn't massively produced, only saw limited use by German forces in the Second World War. Um, wasn't developed any further after the Second World War or anything. Um, obviously, as you can see, it's got a side-mounted mag, 20-round magazine. Uh, these were deployed with sights on them and everything, and were generally only used by German elite troops, uh, mainly the Fallschirmjäger. Um, not entirely sure why it's in the LMG rank. It's not actually an LMG, um, but either way, it'd be a good weapon to use. And the M30 drilling uh, just looks like a pretty much... Uh, it's just a double-barrel shotgun. Not much more to say on that. That German soldier that looks amazing in that uh, camouflage and everything. I can't, I'm not gonna lie. That is absolutely stunning. And we'll just have a quick look at the Sniper, so he's got the Lee Enfield Mark IV. So right, this is the effectively this is the Enfield 303 that I was talking about earlier on. Um, effectively, the bolt action uh, weapon. So we get this up. So this is the or well, Enfield Number no. Four Mark One. So it, it is still effectively Enfield 303. The Enfield 303 was effectively any Lee Enfield 303 chambered bolt action rifle used in the Second World War. Had a generalised name given to it by the British military of the Enfield 303. Uh, these were issued obviously to marksmen and also your basic infantry so I would be expecting that somewhere you'd be able to use this without the scope on it in its more conventional sort of role. So the H29, I've not seen that rifle before, don't know where that's come from, don't know whose it is or anything, um, so I can't tell you much on that. And the German Car 98K, obviously as I said earlier, German bolt action rifle. Um, five rounds per clip. It was cl uh, clip loaded from the top, or it could be individually loaded. So you'd put each individual round in. Um, or action, extremely accurate. Um, not much more to say on it. I mean, kind of yeah, it's been everywhere. A lot of games have had them. Okay, so we'll just back out of that. So we'll see the tanks. So you've got the Valentine. Churchill, Churchill gun carrier, Spitfire Mark 5A. Uh, now the Mark 5A doesn't have the 20 millimeter cannons on it, but I believe the Mark 5B does. So that you'll probably see the Mark 5B in the game as well. There you go, Mark 5B. Um, I can't see the cannons on that. Let's just have a look. There you go. So that's the Mark 5B. So it's got the uh, 20 millimeter Hispano cannons on each wing. You can see I'm sticking on that. Um, I can't see the canopy properly, we should have a little bubble canopy up there. Um, these are going to be really good to see. Get into and fly and uh, the Blenheim Mark 1F, so that's the fighter version of the Blenheim, extensively used early in the war. and. Um, was in there extensively used as a night fighter. My great granddad was an actual radar operator on one of these, and then uh, on a night fighter squadron that operated out of Manston in the UK in the Battle of Britain. Um, so he would have been sort of sat just in front of where that big antenna is on the top there, sort of in that position, operating radar, tracking down German bombers at night. And then obviously you've got the Axis forces, so same again effectively, um, obviously you can see they're wearing different sort of uh, camouflages and everything. Panzer IV tank, um, I've got two sets of the Panzer IV for some reason, so you've just got two, two sets of Panzer IVs and the Tiger I. Uh, the Messerschmitt BF109 G2, Stuka B1, that looks really good, and the Stuka B2. Um, the Stuka, you may be able to 
add the anti-tank guns to it if you can do that that would be a formidable weapon to obviously deploy in the battlefield let's have a quick look at the armory and see what this is so this is where I think you'll be able to um, customize your weapons and get a bit of a closer look at the weapons and everything and your vehicles too um, so obviously the company is where you set up your own soldiers and you can effectively take your company into battle and, and sort of manage them so what we'll do is we will just hit play here and we'll see what we've got okay so we've got the grand operation at Narvik, we've got conquest and we've got ties war, I'll go into a conquest game just for my first game just to um, sort of break everything in and, and see what we've got um, and what I'll do is I'll play one game of uh, conquest just to just as my first look and what I'll do is I'll be releasing some of the videos as well alongside just to um, just to really get a good look at the game in its beta form um, and really look at it in terms of its improvements over Battlefield 1 give a little bit of an insight into the sort of the historical aspects of the game and on what I feel they've got right and what they may be able to improve on with that and obviously I'll be probably casting my judgment on whether or not I'm going to be looking at pre-ordering this game or or purchasing it outright or whatever so obviously we're deploying into Rotterdam so this is, we're going to be looking at really um, probably the medic class um, and the assault class more than anything on this map just because we're going to be looking at a mixture of combat mainly close quarters and I'll, I'll want to be able to obviously lay down fire um, so this is literally the first time I've touched the game so I'm going to drop straight in Good work. The... We have taken objective Tesa. Right, I'll go in with the assault class because he's got the STG 44 and that's what the Germans would use drop straight into this point right, so immediately what Capture I'm feeling is the objectives. As many as possible, soldiers. It's very much like Battlefield 1 in terms of the way it's controlling um, it was a little bit more sluggish on the controls, that may just be that I need to up my uh, sensitivity. One thing I will say is that you can sort of feel the weight of your soldier, it's not like he's a super soldier, you're not just spinning like you'd get on something like Call of Duty World War 2. That was my first kill in the battlefield. <laughs> Five. We're taking shots. That's a V1. You stop hearing that noise. It's when it's coming down. That was uh, pretty intense. I'm gonna try to just sprint this door. There we go. So the battlefield one sort of sprinting into door thing is back, which is good. friendly the sounds and everything are always really good on a battlefield game that's another V1 okay, just went over yeah I think it's just gone over oh contact 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 cover. get some cover Yeah, I forgot that obviously in Battlefield 5 a big feature of the game is going to be that you can... You can obviously stay alive when you've been hit and call out for help. I forgot that you could do that, so I sort of look at him like, how is he still... Right. That looks awesome. The, the camouflages and the colour schemes and everything on the uniforms and the uniforms themselves are looking authentic. Um, we have lost objective Tesa. Just deploy back in the same spot again. We'll get straight back into the action. See what we can get. So with the STG 44, it's an assault rifle. It does have a fire selector on it, so you can so you should be able to switch it to single fire or fully automatic. I'm going to leave it fully automatic and just sort of use it. Uh, 
just going to try and take it slow. I'm just looking for the... I'm liking the way that the weapon's being wielded and obviously the way that I'm moving with it is changing. So it's holding it up at quite a weird angle, which may be something to do with what I'm wearing. So maybe that the weapons themselves are actually wielded in different ways depending on what uniform you're wearing and everything. I don't think we've got any contextual lean. I'm not sure, it may just be what I'm sort of taking cover behind. We have lost control of objective Bata. So you can st stay crouched and sprint in the crouch, which is something you, I don't believe you could do in Battlefield 1. I'm getting a little bit of lag. I'm not sure really what if it's lag or what. But it just feels like I'm being pulled back a little bit, which is a problem I was also having with Battlefield 1 anyway, so that's not anything. I've got a sniper out there, I've just seen that. that crouched sprint and see if we can get up on the enemy a little bit. Alright, I can hear someone with a bolt action rifle or something that's up here. Oh, contact right there. There's a sick symbol on my... on the bridge. Damn it! Objective Taser is ours! I think there's a sniper up on the bridge. Yeah, there is. Yeah. There's all a shot. Is he actually up on the... Or is he down on the... Better push back this way. Deep part of the building's collapsing off there. Attention! We are losing objective Dora! So just sort of get taking my first game really slowly, getting used to the Be controls, aware. getting we used have to lost objective Dora. in battlefield and everything. Oh, it's a tank. What? There, that looks like a, some sort of a yard panther or something. I'm not entirely sure. It was a it was a gun carrier anyway. Um, but like it was on a panther body. I believe it was. It should be. It should be a German. Beware! We are losing objective Indian. Tank. We're losing this point. It's got to be a. Attention! Objective Indian. I like told you around here somewhere. There is, a, there is an allied soldier around here somewhere. He's capturing the point. Holding it off, but we need to work out where he is. V1. Where is that? Massive explosion. Basically with the V1, they always used to call him a doodle bug because of that weird noise that it would make and effectively when the noise stops it means that the engines run out of fuel and that's where it stops flying and just drops out of the sky onto wherever it is. Grenade. That was God, objective Dora is ours now. It must have been underneath the bridge. Good, we've taken objective Anton. We've got that objective back. Slow experiencing some some lag problems and that, but uh, nothing. It's not too major. It's annoying. I don't feel confident. Attention, we have lost objective Dora. Another V1. There it is. You can see it there. It just drops out the sky. Oh. Too busy watching the. Get the revive on this one. I'm too busy watching the V1. So right, what I'll do is I'll try and get my head back in the game a little bit. And, um, we'll see if we Beware, get we some, have lost objective Anton. Some kills and everything strapped together. Up here with my battle will do. We'll get up the floor if we can. Really exposed on this building. Someone's obviously been having a go at it and really exposed the whole side of it. Um, so it's not the best position. 
lighting does Good seem work. to be quite extreme. It's like a really big effect on the gameplay. Uh, anything over there effectively is going to be really uh, difficult to see. Shut out the building. Had a package there uh, dropped. We have lost objective Bata. Uh, it sounds like we've got enemy pretty much beneath us. The one thing I will say is these V1s, um, from the trailer and everything, they seem like they were going to be sort of like a rare thing that's going to be quite scary. At the minute, they're happening every like two minutes. Um, it's just like a regular thing. Um, I don't think they should be. Uh, if I'm really honest with you, the V1 wasn't even deployed tactically. We have now taken objective door. Uh, but we'll sort of allow that, but the fact that it's constantly being thrown into the battlefield like it's nothing is a little bit strange. Attention! Objective 10 has been lost! Now, as you see, he's, the, he's sort of dropped into the back and he's... So we win that game, I mean I was absolutely useless in that game, not going to lie. Um, negative KD and that. A little bit of a graphical error on that guy's STG44, but... I mean we're looking at an open beta. Um, that's the main thing you got to think of, is that... You know, ultimately we can't be looking at this game and thinking, yeah, what well, this is, this is it, this is what we're getting, because it is not, it is going to be improved a little bit over the course of the next month or so before release. From that first look at it, very much like Battlefield 1. Um, I mean, imagine Battlefield 1, but with some improvements and um, effectively just, just sort of refined improvements, Second World War. Um, nothing really more I can say about it. Um, what I'll do is I'll have one more game on this particular recording and what we'll have is we'll have the, the first video be a little bit longer. Um, at the minute I'm just hoping it's recording properly and that you can hear me properly and everything. Obviously if not then I've got a problem but what we'll do is we'll go into another game. So here we are and we've got, so we're the Germans again. Um, Let's see what I can do. First see if I can... enemy soldier eliminated. Can I switch the MP40? It's... Okay, so it looks like I can't switch the MP40 yet for some reason. Um. All right, we'll go up with the STG. Just to start with, we'll see what we can do with this, and then uh, I'll switch over and have a quick go of every class in this game. So I'll see a completely different map. Uh, I believe this is Narvik, so Norway. Um, snowy map, and everything. Not something we saw a lot of in Battlefield 1. The DLC, obviously, which gave us. Um, Yeah, did the Battlefield 1 DLC um, that gave us the in the name of the Tsar. First blood to them. Okay, so I'm about, I might be a little bit more quiet this this game just because I'm concentrating. I want to try and there we go. There's the contextual lean. It's on a whole position sort of thing and. So that's a Tiger one there. Uh, ME 109G2, just climbing up there. One thing I will say about 
both the Battlefield 1 and this game is that the visuals and the sounds, there's an enemy I believe, I just saw an enemy, um, the visuals and everything and the sounds and the way you work are absolutely beautiful. This is a long range fire. There we are, pushing left. Contacts all over. Objective F. I think I'm on my own. Get down to this position here. Let's see if we can catch them out in the open. Multiple contacts, multiple contacts. Hoping that I'll get a little bit of support. That was my first kill with the sidearm. That was pretty cool, just being able to switch over to the sidearm and engage like that. <laughs> More contacts. Where is he? No, we have not if I could have just kept that um, that recoil down, then I think I would have I would have had that. Um, really, I need I need my support on that, that Good, objective, but I didn't do too badly. Got a couple of kills out of it. Um, Spawning on my squad. Let's see what we can do. See if we can get around there. Open up some uh, some options for flanking. Oh, we've got a SD. KFZ251 literally just sat on the side of this embankment here. There's the Tiger 1 pushing in on that objective as well. Enemy somewhere. Objective Cesar is lost. Objective Anton is lost. Gonna be beneath us. Getting that little bit lagged, it just feels like it's pulling me back all the time. Making it a little bit more difficult to move Good around. Work. We have taken objective Friedrich. Knowing what stance you're in is going to play a major part in this game, I think. So you, so you can sprint, obviously, crouch down. It means that you've got a lot of different options. And obviously, what stance you want to take and everything. This is a really cool little option here. It's just to use this. Um, Objective Emil is ours now. Use this little drainage ditch just to hide in. And I know that we're pretty much surrounded by the enemy. So you can see, obviously, the other thing as well is that the health doesn't come back and regenerate like it does in the other battlefield games. So at the minute, I'm, just, I'm down on my health. I'm only up 59. Um, which means next engagement I have, I'm going to be at a straight disadvantage. Struggling on a bit of little rubble. I literally cannot climb out. Contact right there. Pot shot him, just see if we can scare him. Hear a tank coming in. Contact. See if we can do it. I'm sort of like, I guess, spawn camping. I'm trying to sort of control an area, really. I'm not trying to camp too much, as in sort of sit in one area and just do that. I 
unless I get some sort of support on this position, I'm not really going to be able to do much in order, you know, in terms of sort of taking his point back. Got very lucky on that, he had to drop on me and everything. Let's pull back a little bit, let's see what we can do. See if we can open up some angles, get some options. STG 44, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna lie, the uh, absolutely stunning weapon. Um, it just, it handles perfectly, it's really, really nicely balanced and everything. Um, I mean, it was the most advanced weapon pretty much of its day anyway. Really exposed here, it's not a good position. There we go, we've got a contact right there. Coming towards us, he's running away from us. There he is, he's looking for us. Objective Teza is ours! Made a mistake, bless him. He tried. You gotta be looking at You gotta be looking at the tactics and everything a lot. You gotta be understanding what you're doing with yourself this game as you had to with the previous battlefield except this one I think it's going to be a little bit more punishing in terms of obviously the health just got one of our guys so I'm down to 48 health now it came back a little bit I don't know if you saw that not enough attention we have lost objective Friedrich we have got a rifleman out there somewhere of a big asset um, with the Battlefield games is being able to use the sound to your advantage. You can hear an enemy coming in before you can see them. Contact all the way up there, see that. There's a guy moving out there. Obviously I've got no optics or anything so I can't really look at the, um, what's going on. I've got the overlay down on the left hand side of the screen so it is difficult for me to see what's going on. Um, my next gameplay video I'll move that overlay just so I can see what's actually there on that left side of the screen. Um, Alright, so what we've got there is, uh, has been lost. It looks like a cut down Enfield 303 with the uh, grenade um, sort of attachment on the end of it. So what you do is you put a special type of round in the chamber, fire it effectively, and it would then fire the grenade out the end of it. That looks like it is dynamite or C4, basically. We have lost control of objective Beta. Uh, hammer. As well. So put all that away. Get the SCG44 out. Objective yeah. Friedrich is ours. No on the rounds. Air movement. We have taken objective Dora. I think it might be up on top of us, on top of that bridge. Oh no, there we go. So it might have been there. Be we have across the bridge. Or along the bridge. Right, Good show, so. objective Anton taken. The sounds in this game are really good. Lighting and everything plays a big part in it, um, as it really did with the previous battlefield as well. So at the minute it looks like because we're holding this position I might be able to get some medical supplies. There we go, so I've just picked up some health off the point, got myself back on 100 percent so that's good. Get some ammo. Check that this one seems top off. We're all good for ammo, we're all good for health. So, oh. we have taken objective Tesa. so it looks like what you can do is you can go back to obviously the points that you hold. Um, from those points, what you can then do is um, use them to effectively spawn at B. Use those to effectively get uh, ammunition and health. So I've just come in now as the medic class. I've got the Sten gun. We're going to run back onto that point, see if we can take it back. So we there's a guy there taking it at the minute. I'm just going to look for a little option around the back. So I don't know how the Sten gun's going to act now. The Sten gun, if it's like real life, it's going to have a recoil pattern that will pull it to the side up and to the side. 
Um, usually to the right, I believe. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen in this game. We'll see what we get. Maybe looking at potentially an enemy's hiding in that building right there, right in the center of the place. Objective Maybe moved on. Lost. So we've taken A back without any resistance at the moment. Um, Oh, safe. Recoil pattern on this thing is actually quite good. Stay alert, objective Tezza is lost. As you can see, the enemy are holding that bridge and they are running all over it. That was a uh, God. So that is a Valentine, it's just pulled up on that position. And it's taking that from us alongside. We have taken Looks like they had some infantry on there as well. Let's see what options we've got for spawn. I'll go for E option to C through the town. So you've got a lot of different, in one map you have got a lot of different options. You have got the little bit of a town that you can uh, move through. You've got the open ground that you can move through. So it's given you some different gameplay options um, for each game. I mean, you can switch between your classes and you can use all of them. Um, and all of them sort of have their own areas that they're going to play into. Um, I mean, if you bring a sniper into this environment. Got burnt by that car. Alright, we've got a sniper with something to the right. So what you can do is you can get uh, what you can do is you can get your sniper and you can um just call out for help to see if there's anyone in the area that can get me. Obviously with a sniper you can bring him into the area and sort of hold down a position, keep looking around with him and look to get some kills that way in the town. Must we can do what I was, I was doing and sort of run around for an assault class or something like that. No, it seems like at the moment we've our squads and everything are really spread out and there's just not a lot. There's not a lot of players in it. I mean we are looking at the open beta, it's early days in that the game. Some people may not even be able to have got the beta. We are Ah, some people may not have even been able to get the beta, so I don't think the uh, servers are populated um, to the point that you'd be wanting. Um, one thing I will say, um, you know, straight away, is I'm finding it harder to use the stun gun than I am. I was the STG44. I'm just gonna switch back to that just to see if we can actually get some effect on the game. I know there is a squad moving together through the points, and we need to really stop that. We're gonna have any chance of winning this. Good work, objective Anton taken. He's gonna push. Very out good, wide. objective Teza is ours. I want to try and catch them by surprise and uh, hit them places they maybe not won't expect it. This is going to be a big gameplay feature, so Objective you see I'm leaving footprints in the snow and they're not going either, so you can track people through the snow, you can follow people in the snow. I don't know if there's going to be any maps that are really going to take, uh, take advantage of that, maybe have more open areas with snow where you can really follow people through. Slowly move up on that 
Sniper. Sniper, we just saw that guy get taken out there. Oh, no clue where that shot came from. Keep my head poked out too much. So I've got a sniper out here operating. He could be, I don't know if that is even a playable area all the way up there. If he's up there, then I have some problems. I don't know if he's like. These buildings, maybe. All I know is that guy, head, he, you know, he put his head up. And it, it got taken off. That was mad. Another sniper shot. He is he's out there somewhere. See how far we can push up that direction. See if we can at least close the gap with him. Get an idea of where he's at. Is that sniper there? I think it's just a rock. I don't want to shoot and give away my position if it's not. Him. Let's keep crouched down, move to the edge of the map, I'm going to work my way around the back. We've now lost objective Anton! Really see these areas being exploited by uh, snipers right here we go. This this is where the sniper may be. Closed. I don't know if you can close the doors. Good job, we've taken objective Emil. Can't see any enemy. No signs of enemy activity. What about? Is it something maybe? Um, right. I've got a pack 38 position though, all the way up out here. Friedrich has now been lost. Here a tank or something is down there on the left. Looks like this position it could be good um, at the minute. It's got absolutely no. Where's that coming from? There it is. I was trying to shoot it down. off that you way you see it and then you hear it and you feel it as well through the controller it's all set up perfectly that Be sound aware, we have lost objective um, pretty much as close to the real thing as you're gonna want to get Blenheim. is that a player or is it just flying over position out here. Let's get this gun. Good job, objective Teza is ours. There's something down here. I've not got a clue what. Ah, oh, so we've got a Ketten crad. Just dumped. Bubble. Objective Friedrich has been lost to the enemy. see what we can do with this. Um, might have a sniper problem.
Panzer nähert sich. Dieser Enemy. Verdammt, ein Panzer! Ich kann sagen, was Enemy und noch. Wobei, da ist gut, da müssen wir friendly. Ähm, obviously, der Panzer ist ein German und dann ein Enemy. Oh, yeah. Forgot that you can shoot few objects. Be aware that we have lost objective Caesar. Ich bin erledigt. Helft mir. We'll spawn on D and we'll see if we can push around. Enemies taking all the objectives again, pretty much. Um, so it looks like in Conquest, a big part of it's going to be Kate taking the points and using them to keep your ammo. We have now taken objective data. Keep your ammo stocks and your health stocks up. Effectively, just using those points as sort of where you're going to. Move out from and move back to. Attention, we have lost objective Dora. Move into this position. Just hold this for a moment. Once we're taking this, just in case we've got an enemy uh, counter attack coming in. doing because he was running in there and then you just, you just nowhere. I'll bleed out. Oh no. Got a medic coming up to me now. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on. He was literally all oh, right. It looks like I was floating and he couldn't get me. He's now under attack. Well done. We have taken objective Tazer. Find him now. Let's go. See if we can get up the this ladder quickly. This little ladder of death. We have now taken objective data. Over there, since this little defensive position. So it looks like we're just bunny hopping positions at the moment. We take one, they take one. It just keeps going to and fro. Sniper. I'm gonna hold on, just see if there's someone will run in. Attention, we have lost objective Taser. So you can look around in this view. Um, you can literally, you can only look around there. You can't look up or down. I'm not gonna make it. Go to the deployment overview, let's see what other classes we've got. I might just quickly hop on as a sniper and see if I can do anything. Now generally snipers are not my class. Um, particularly fast with the, the sort of the sighting and everything because there is one out there. We've taken objective Anton! Objective Emil is lost. A 
Tak. Sniper. Cirka i den. I mean, I got a hit on him. Um, and I mean, in this game, because of the way the health works, if I do get a hit on someone like that, it is going to mean a lot more than it did back in Battlefield 1, where you just hit someone. No, we just run it off, sort of thing. With this, you hit someone, their next engagement is probably going to be their last. Um, so it just means that sniping, even if you're not the most accurate sniper, if you're not getting those headshots, you are doing sufficient damage each time you hit someone, and you are going to directly affect the gameplay, and you are going to directly hurt the enemy. the STG-44 for now, because I just want to string together Hear a few this. kills. Has been lost. Go straight out of this position, get a run down. What I might do is go for the objective F, but they'll probably be pushing from E across. It doesn't look like the servers are actually populated properly uh, at the minute. Obviously, I, I mean, I'm thinking that's because it's obviously the beta. I don't know if there's this you know, limit or anything on them. There just doesn't seem to be the numbers. Beware, we have lost objective Anton. It just looks like we're just, for each objective we lose, they gain. They gain, we lose, whatever. It's just. It, it's not moving as such. Um, in Good work, objective is sort now of ours. We have lost objective Caesar. See if there's anything I can do with this guy. See a little bit of lag. So move I don't know if that's my connection. V1 coming in, that sounds like it's in close. That is right over my head. And that's just gone in on Objective C, is so now ours. close. Let's move over. Let's start moving up here, see if we can get into a position. No, that's just taking C, that's good. We've got E, we've got C, so we're holding this little town now. Darn it! Objective Taser is ours! Yeah. Doing alright. Holding the sort of the defensible positions quite quite nicely at the minute. You see someone's barricaded this house. It's got a big sandbag wall. One thing I will say is when you've got dark areas on a battlefield game, they are dark. Seems to be shots coming down from the sky. Oh, there you go, you got a Spitfire, I think that is. Objective Beta is ours! Alright, we're losing F. quickly attention objective Friedrich has been lost contact right there Killed one of our guys who are damaged him really bad. He's just sitting in there right now. Is he dead? Get on the gun, get on 
get me on. There is some sort of lag or something going on for my connection. So you saw there, I, I was in, in deep, spraying into him and nothing was happening. Another contact. There's something happening with my connection, it's not good. Whatever it is, it's not good. Oh, it's down. Get him. Oh, missed him. Oh, this lag is killing me now. Chances. He's just holding me back every time I try to spin. Oh. Whatever this connection problem is, whatever it is, it's really starting to ruin. I've got, I'll try Stenga and I'll try and take a run in. Get a little look down at my body and my legs. That lag is really, I don't know if this is even going to show up on the recording, but you just see it, it's just like I'm being held back. It's like someone's physically just grabbing me and pulling me back every now and again. So with this I need to be careful about my position and everything. I need to be careful about every movement I make, which is difficult when you keep getting dragged back and forward. We have taken objective Cesar! We have taken objective Dora! Well, as a person then. Okay, so we've got someone on the area. Got him. Move, move, move. Get up and really sprint out. Round the back of here. Okay, we have lost objective Dora. Ah, right, Just gonna charge in. Is it just the one on nine that's up? No. No Spitfires. Does that sound sounds like a murder. Objective Emil is now ours. <laughs> Be aware that Objective Anton has been lost. So with this site. So we just hold the yeah. air. Let's get restart. One hundred percent health. Oh, so it looks like there's a recharge on the ammo, so you can't just keep spamming it. Like we've got a tank coming in. Tank. Oh, come on, move, 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 move. <coughs> move. Oh, he's just hit me point blank with a freaking Panzerfaust. My team's literally running away from me. 
as all of this is happening, my squad's just running off. I think it's going to be a really squad based sort of game as well. If you don't have a squad around you, it's going to be difficult, um, as we're finding. But I think the, it's really difficult to get out of this one. The game is going to be a little off there. Oh, we're just surrounded and there's no support. I think this game's really difficult to work out how exactly how it's going to feel and everything because at the minute there's just no players. Good job, we have taken objective beta. I really want to hold down that position, but there's just no. He just died. It spawned in, someone just dropped straight away. And I don't know if he was our team or what. But the, the tank's been blown up. So we're taking the point back. I guarantee there's an enemy around. There's at least one enemy. He's going to be in this building if he's going to be anywhere. So, here shots. What is that? What is that? Is that the tank? It's really difficult to see. Well done, we have taken objective Emil. Pretty sure there was a guy in here. Fine. It's mine. Attention, we have lost objective Friedrich. Oh, it's coming down there. Oh, God. Oh, that threw me back then. That was mad. Bring it! We need a Nutzlack! Please come! Genehmigt! Unterwegs to you! I don't know where that's going. I can't even see it. Where is that? Point. Oh my god! <laughs> Someone on our team keeps calling in V1s. They're just literally, they don't care if I'm on the point or not. Is that another one? Good work, we've taken objective Friedrich. All the buildings, all the infrastructure in this area is gone. He was mangled. Everything in that area was just decimated by V1 rocket, uh, you know, rockets coming in. Let's see a guy out and see that. Let's see if we got him. slow on this area. Sounds like we just took an engagement right there. Oh, we, we are losing objective quickly. Dora. Objective Dora has been lost. someone just to be looking out for you and if you haven't you're dead I was doing so well on that as well we have lost objective Friedrich. that's 
spawn in this guy. I know exactly we have lost the objective enemy is really not the hill. Get myself positioned down here. Soldiers, we have taken objective Anton. Let's push on the back. Too open to get away. Get up here, pushing to the rear. So there's a guy sat on the uh, sat on this point. We just need to locate him. There he is. it by two points whatever <sighs> again it, I mean it wasn't really my best gameplay I'm, I'm not used to this game I'm not used to the feel of it um, so far first impressions amazing game um, I'm gonna be playing a lot more of it uh, this video has gone on a little bit too long really um, what I'll do is I'll uh, video here just have a look at what uh, placed on that scoreboard 14 kills 13 deaths not it you know it's not good but um, as a first look really happy with the game really happy with how it feels and everything um, at the minute from my first playthrough and everything I'm, I'm gonna suggest that you try it for yourself really uh, amazing game Battlefield 1 but in World War II with a few refinements to it. Um, nothing really more to say. Um, keeps going the way it's going. I'm going to probably pre-order it. So that was uh, that's enough for video one. Um, and I will get another video out um, shortly and sort of show off a little bit more of the game.